What's up, YouTube? Trying out another free Steam... This won't be the full game that's free, but free demo. Free early access. I don't know if this is just a demo or the full game. Let's do the tutorial since I haven't done anything with it. I think I'm building robots. Stay away from water, it destroys your robot. Get comfy without arms and legs, fly and find your way to... Okay, so drive the robot, collect star. Let's knock out this tutorial stuff. I'm looking for a star. Glad to see you up and flying. You are expected in the simulation area. Find your way there. I have unlocked Ooh. the smaller drone doors for use in only humans and controlled robots. Due to some technical issues, the drone door leading onto the simulation area didn't unlock. I have printed a drivable robot using one of our fancy nano printing stations, but due to a calibration error, the robot is upside down. Let's take this robot for a spin, shall we? Should be fairly easy to get the hang of. Here, hold on. Let's flip it using E. Good job. Now, if you dock to that robot, you can drive it through the normal doors. Look at you go. Three, two. Okay, hold on. The driving is not super, super easy, but it's not bad either. AI drone identified. Welcome. Commencing basic training program. Transferring data to simulation. Please stand by. We did it! We beat tutorial part one. Welcome. This is your very first simulation session. Your purpose in this world is to build robots to assist humans and make them thrive. A robot like that consists of three things. Parts, chassis, and programming. This particular simulation focuses on parts. We will have a lot of fun. So go ahead and enter assembly mode. You can do this anywhere you want. B to do assembly. In front of you, you should now see a simple robot that I have prepared for you. But one thing is missing. The part called docking station. Let's add it. All the parts available to you are stored in a catalog that you can access at any time while you are in assembly mode. Catalog press tab. Hold escape to close. To your left you see a list of categories. The docking station can be found under the pool. Now place it somewhere on your bot. Great. Back out from part placing mode. All right. Since this robot has four drive motors placed already, all the programming has been done for you under the hood. Awesome. I will let you drive around for a bit. When you feel ready, proceed to the parking area and I will go ahead and rate your performance. I feel like I'm gonna get a poor performance review. Okay. Come on, how unexpected was it for me to go destroy that? Okay, I would like my robot back, please. I tried tab. Oh, was it B? Never mind, it's B. And it's enter to enter the vehicle. Okay. Print your robot. Poke all the dummies. Zero of two. Oh! I meant to do that. Okay. I didn't actually mean to do that. I promise. B. Enter. Oh, 
poked one dummy. <laughs> this should be really easy, and it's still kicking my butt a bit. We did it, but barely. Next. Get rolling. Let's go. Welcome back. Eager to learn, are we? Great. Let's explore parts a bit more. Go ahead and enter the assembly mode. As you can see, I have prepared a new robot for you. But this one is missing something else. Let's see if you can figure out how to finish this robot. Does it already have a chair? It might. Racing, standard, or off-road? Probably regret doing racing. Okay, hold on. This one and see if it works. Let's delete that. Okay, I don't want that. There we go. Yahoo. Yes. Fantastic. Just as we did before. Poke all the dummies, Yahoo collect the star. Done. When you feel like moving on, just drive up onto the parking area again and we will move on to the next lesson. Hey, give me my diploma. Should have done off-road. We did it. We graduated. Next. Emptiness. Play. I am extremely impressed with your performance this far. You spherical marvel. Your recent results were beyond my expectations, and that is not a statement I make lightly. For this last one, I will let you do it all from scratch. What? I will try not to disturb you while you are in your creative bubble. So, go ahead and assemble a new robot and then just print it. How are we doing? Take all the time you want. Make sure that you have added motors, wheels, and a docking station on it. It won't work without those parts. Okay, hold on. I don't know that I need the engine. Maybe I do, though. Okay, do I need one engine per wheel? Is it automatically mirroring that to the other side? It is. Good. Let's do off-road this time. Electronics, controllers, seat. Okay, I need a way to go look at it from above. Here, let's put my seat right there. When you want to drive that cool thing you are working on, just go ahead and print it. Enter to print. Absolutely glorious. Now you are a master of parts. Makes me very happy. When you feel satisfied, you know where to go. I have some very, very exciting stuff for you in the next session. I don't you like how close the sky is to the edge. And have a look at the chassis and learn all about it. It will be so much fun. Okay, got him. The turning radius on these is not great. He's just kind of chilling up in the tree. 
Okay, where's the third one? Oh, way back there. Glad I went off-road, at least. Bam. I need the diploma. We did it. Next. All right. I think the goal will be get through all the tutorial at least for this first video. It's time for us to get creative. The look of your robot will greatly depend on the design of the chassis. Ah, yes. And make changes to the chassis using a few simple tools that will be introduced in this section. Let's get started. A chassis consists of three components, plates, frames, and joints. A plate is defined by frames, and a frame is the part between two joints. Gotcha. Using these three components, you can modify the chassis into the design you want. Let's start off by entering assembly mode. B. Try to print this robot and drive it through that doorway. Okay. What doorway? Oh, it's going to be too wide. Got ya. Hum. That didn't really work, did it? Let's fix it. Wait. Back into assembly mode. I haven't given up. I think it's actually doable. I just have to... <laughs> Fine. Okay. Let's... We need to edit the chassis to get through the door. To be able to make changes to the chassis, you need to isolate it. To isolate it... Wait. Click the chassis. Which part of the chassis? I just want, like, this end part. Select the blue plate. You can move the selected plate by grabbing it. Mistakes happen, and that's okay. You can always undo them. Try it. Here, hold on. Let's just shrink all of this. Okay. I feel pretty good about that. Moment of truth. Can tell you how excited I am right now. Stellar performance. Head over to the parking space to continue. I didn't collect the star, but that's okay. It's just tutorial. I don't think there's any advantage to doing it. As I mentioned earlier, a chassis consists of plates, frames, and joints. By modifying frames and joints, you'll be able to make finer adjustments to your chassis. Go into assembly mode, and I'll show here is a very simple robot that I've prepared for you. Isolate the chassis to enable editing. I hope you recall how to move a plate. Moving frames and joints is done the same way. Easy. Try moving the yellow frame on the shelf. Cool. Joints can be merged together. Just move one of them on top of the other. This is really easy to do. Try it out. Exciting stuff, isn't it? Now put your robot and head over to the parking area to continue. That's an interesting design choice. Looking forward to seeing what you'll come up with next. Okay, where am I supposed to be going? What's up, buddies? Okay, I can see the park. So let's cruise on over there. New perspective. Is this going to give me a better camera view? Because that would be cool. So, moving stuff around sure is fun. But to make art, proper art, you need to step up your game. 
What you need to learn is how to extrude. That way you can create new plates, frames, and joints from existing such. We will try this new feature on plates. To begin with, enter assembly mode and isolate the chassis. I don't know what it means by isolate the chassis. Go ahead and try to extrude the blue plate or another one. Whichever one you like. I like blue. I don't know how to extrude. Okay. Hold control while dragging the plate. Great. Look at those shiny new plates that you have created. Using the extrude feature will allow you to build more complex and detailed chassis designs. Feel free to extrude a bit. I have to admit, I see great potential in you, and that makes me very happy. Let's poke all the dummies. If I find them on the way out. If I don't, I'm not going out of my way to get them. Okay. Mistakes have been made. We don't need four wheels. Four wheels is kind of excessive when you think about it. We'll get our diploma. We'll hit that guy. For some reason the handling's a little bit off. I'm not gonna say it's because I'm down to three wheels, but that could have a little bit to do with it. Get creative. Let's do this. Final test. Alright, so art class is coming to an end, but I have one more thing to show you. The extrude feature is not only applicable on plates, but also on frames and joints. The method is the same, although the results you get will be different, depending on what kind of component you're extruding. For your final assignment, it's time for you to get your hands dirty. Figuratively speaking, think outside the box and make your very own design. I have taught you how to fish. Now, go fish. <laughs> okay. Use the move and extrude features you've learned earlier and build something cool. The graduation ceremony will take place by the parking space. So, when you feel ready, head over there to present your piece of art. Just trying to make it heavier without making it too, too big. It's actually hard to make something this heavy. I still want to be able to fit through a doorway. Well, let's first add our stuff because maybe those will add a bunch of weight. Do you like inspirational quotes? My favorite one is, the world is but a canvas to the imagination. It's so deep. I feel like these aren't all going to be touching the ground. And Make it work. the wheels would all hit each other. What happens? Okay, yeah, if they interfere with each other. Okay. That is so beautiful. You are a true artist. I don't know about you, but my right brain half needs a break. Thankfully, the next section is all about the left one. I'm gonna go back to building a little bit more, just no real reason, just for fun. Here, let's delete these. I just noticed I can change the acceleration. What does it do? I'm assuming it also changes the acceleration to this one. I also just noticed I can change the rotation. Okay. 
Wait, I'm not heavy enough now. How do I change the rotation? Um... How heavy are you? I don't know how to tell how heavy it is. Whoa. Okay. It's got... Like, it keeps moving after her. I've finished. What is that? Momentum? Inertia? Momentum, I think. Like right now, I'm not pressing anything. It's just still going. I'm not pressing forward. It's just from its own weight. Hold on. Let's line up a little bit better. Okay, I don't like heavy robots too much. Oh! I wasn't all the way through. Why are things up? Do we have time? Not really, but I'm gonna do it because I want to get through at least the first one of this. Now we will dive a bit deeper into what you can do with your robots. Let's look at some of the programming that you can do within your docking station. There are endless possibilities, but now I will just guide you through the very basics. So first off, as per usual, and okay, maybe I shouldn't have cut her off. She really just having me print the robot? Try to drive it. Doesn't work, does it? Okay. No. Let's go back to assembly mode and figure out why. Whenever you have a robot with a docking station on it, you can access its programming interface. The brain of your robot. Programming is P. Give me a minute and let me explain what you are looking at here. Here you can see your workspace and your list of nodes. The workspace is the grid where you place your probe and voila. The input node will now send signals to your motor and give it power. Back out from programming <laughs> and then print your bot to test it. Okay. Okay. Wow, looks like it's working. Cool. Drive to the parking spot again, and I will give you another example. Wait, why are you still moving? Okay, change my camera view. <laughs> we did it. All right, I'm going to do the other ones in the next video. That does it for this one. Thank you for watching.